Alright, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, right, right, right now on the phone we have uh, the one and only Mr. Wrestling from KZW, Jeremy Rage. How you doing, Mr. Jeremy? How's it going, boys? Every, but everything is good, man. Lots of shit going on in the world of wrestling these days, man. Holy shit. I know, right? Like wrestling starting to get fun again, brother. It is. And I'm jealous because, well, actually, I could go on Saturday. Uh, there is a uh, show happening at Six Flags Great Adventure. Guess who's on that poster? Who? Who do you think? Mm, Sean Spears. No. No, who's in AEW? Hmm, Mr. John Moxley. Hmm. Oh, yeah, oh, Moxley. I, fuck, I forgot about him, bro. Fuck, I know. Mr. CZW, yes. Love that. Yeah, he, uh, when he blowed up big in New Japan and shit, too. Man. I know, I know. It's like, wow. And there was, but I don't know. I don't want to pay, do I want to pay 40 bucks to go see him? I don't know. I'm kind of like, eh. I don't want to run around him. We're around, around a, a amusement, amusement park, park all day, and then have, have to pay the fee to get into the park, park you know? Because that's, that's, you know, they, they, they get, get you with that shit, shit you know, at the amusement, amusement park. Oh, it's, it's a meet and greet, and then live wrestling. I don't know the wrestling company, you know? I wouldn't. I don't want to scam myself, you know what I mean? So, but you never know, know. He, he might just show up next Saturday at TOD, CZW's Tournament of Death. So, I'm a little bit... Skeptic, you know, I'm thinking because he's got all these release dates now, you know. He's up. Uh, I am just me, Russ. Hold on, hold on. Got it. Stay tuned, fans. We're just talking about what's going on in the world of wrestling right now. AEW taking it by storm, um, you know, and uh, we're just proud of it. This uh, company and watching, you know, just breaking records and. My God, it's like one big company that we wish we could be there every single time to see it live in action. When they come to a town near us. And much, much more. What I was saying, folks, uh, CZW's Tournament of Death this Saturday. Next Saturday, excuse me. Not this Saturday, I wish it was Saturday. And all the oh, hang on, folks. We get a call here. You still on? Yo. Yeah, so, uh, just stay tuned, fans. Shit's getting real here. Oh, man, fans, just stay tuned. This is, uh, a little technical difficulties right now, but, uh... Technical difficulties as usual, fans, and, uh... Well, fuck yeah, it's, I think it was more on my end, bro. Well, what, well, what the hell, right? I'm always the one getting shit with the fucking internet and this, that. That's just, that's just Kentucky weather for you, brother. Yes, I know, there's been some shitty weather happening lately. I'm tired of it, you know? Dude, it has done nothing but storm for, like, seven days. It was, like, two days of rain, like, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was, like, nasty, nasty rain. I know, it's crazy. But sun's shining, and you know what? As we were talking about it, man, like, you know, AEW is blowing by storm right now. Like, it's crazy. It really is. I know. 
That's crazy, man. I just... Uh, I know. I don't, I don't know, brother. It's, it's, it's been storming here seven days, and, yeah. and all the crazy just fucking come out. I'll check you out. <laughs> I, I hear you. you. I, I hear, hear you. you. But, but shit. But, yeah, we got uh, yeah. the 12-year anniversary of KZW on July. But let me make sure I'm getting my dates right. Yeah. Is, is, wrong. is there a show this weekend? Is there a show this weekend? Or no. Yeah, I mean, we've got two. We've got a oh, show, shit. Clinton County Fair Thursday, and then yes. we have uh, Williamsburg. Yeah. Saturday. Holy shit, shit man. man. No, no sleep. No sleep, Mr. Wrestling. Wrestling. Definitely. Hell no. Mr. Wrestling goes all day, every day. But, but ladies and gentlemen, and I just want to say to you, you you're, you're first time listeners and you want to hear uh, Mr. Jeremy, Mr. Mr. Jeremy Wrestling, Jeremy Rages from Kentucky's Own Wrestling. And, and I just want to say this, ladies and gentlemen, the new tag team champion, Mr. Wrestling, Jeremy Rage. All right. All right. Yeah, that, that July 13th is our 12-year anniversary show for KZW. 12 years? Holy shit. 12 years, brother, that company has been around. And that's, I mean, for around here, that's kind of hard to pull off. I mean, they've yeah. done it right. They, they've stayed consistent. Uh-huh. And, and, when when is, is, and when is Death Max Russell, Russell going to get his ass to Kentucky? Kentucky? I, I know. know. God damn it. Yeah, that's, that was my next question is when the hell is Russell coming him and Everett Lee coming to KZW? I, you, you know, know what? what? I, I think, think there's a, like, like I, I think, think there's something, what, what September or October, October or Steel Cage? Cage when it gets really mad. Cage Fury's in September, yeah. I, I might, might just have to lock myself, lock myself some dates and go. And just, Brother, there is guys that comes down from Indiana just to see that show. Yeah, yeah, but... If I'm going to make my best to, because there's also a show coming to Virginia, so it's like, i got to juggle it. got to juggle it. You know? And my buddies want me to go to a, a, a deathmatch tournament. Lord of Anarchy. It's like, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop, Jeremy, with these deathmatch shows. It's crazy. Like I just said, this, this next Saturday is the uh, CCW's Tournament of Death 18. 18. John Moxley was one of the originals in that. Way back in the heyday. My God, just, just think about it. Is that crazy or what? That is fucking insane, dude. Like, Moxley, which, I mean, I, I see his point because, I mean, he was, like, they was pretty much yes. trying to job him out there toward the end in WWE, which. Yeah. Uh, I mean, WWE has got pretty much to where everybody's pretty much just turning the channel now. I'm turning, turning the channel every time, time, man. I'm turning the channel. I don't care. You know, we don't, you know what? It's like, hey, what happened to the old Vince McMahon? Whatever happened to this and that and this and yeah, we'll be okay, okay. You know? Ratings, ratings this and that. They always said, yeah, okay, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to blow up the roof. WrestleMania, the ratings are higher. You know, pay-per-views are higher. This and that. You know, merchandise sales are this. Merchandise, you know? Come on, really? But I don't, uh, yeah. I, I just don't watch WWE anymore. Like, I haven't watched that shit in eight months. Like, it's just, mm-hmm. it's too much. Like, I mean. But don't get us wrong. Don't get us wrong. We like NXT. I mean, NXT is a generation of wrestling, of the new stars to come out in the circuits, and we know that. Oh, yeah. NXT right now, both like Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, mm-hmm. like uh, Roger Strong, those are guys that I've worked with before in Ring of Honor and shit. Like, yeah. And there's a, and there's and there's going to be the new guy. And there's another guy, Ricky. Uh, his name is uh, Shane Strickland, and actually he's mm-hmm. yeah he's getting trained right now. So big shout out to him, man. He's a uh, one of the one of the indie top CCW. He's one of CCW's best, actually. Like you know, but people all know it. Right, right. Let's, uh, let's see. We got. Uh, down at KZW, we've got a, a new group of guys and girls coming in. Yeah, I'm seeing that. that. Like, 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 you guys, guys are getting, getting some new uh, competition, competition in there. That's good. I want to see that. that. That's, That's what we need to Well, I know. mean, let's, let's just be real about it and face facts here. There's, there's really no competition when it comes to me. No, no, no there is not. When, when you, when you, you go, go to the, the when, when, when that door, when that, when that bell sounds, it's go time for Mr. Wrestling. Oh, yeah. Anytime you put me on a card, it don't matter who I'm in there with. Mm. I get great matches out of everybody. Yeah. And I mean, I, I hate calling myself like 
a work the workhorse or a workhorse of a company because I mean it's a good pat on the back because it it shows that they trust you and that they know that you're good at your job. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm out here making all these stars and making all these guys to move up to fight mm -hmm. these bigger champions and stuff. And yeah. you know that's kind of leaving me kind of just holding the bag. You know, I'm just yes. I'm just the good work guy. Yeah, yeah I, I just, just watched, watched something. something I, just I just watched, watched some, some video, video, highlight video. video. Like, like what, what happened, happened there? What was that, that all about, about man? man? I, saw I saw some action, action in the ring there. there. What was that that, now, that was a chaotic match. I mean, they yeah. was, uh, was me and B.W. Anderson. Yes. The Undead Outlaws. Yeah. And then you had uh, two young guys, Gunnar Grimm and Pitbull Ebenezer. Mm -hmm. Really tough, really tough guys. They are. Uh, yeah. And uh, we all, we, you know, they threw us in a tornado match for the tag straps. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Outlaws, I, I, I guess they thought that they would outsmart us and take the straps back, but... It ended up with Sully kicking his own partner in the face, and uh, Repic, yes. I guess, kind of lost his shit. I, I saw, saw that. that. I heard about, like, what's going on there? there? He's, He's got to go, go take, take a step back, back and go, uh, you know, know he needs to take the walk down by the river and, uh, you know, start thinking again. And, you know, get us, get us, get us boy, there's something going on with him, you know? Yeah, I think, I think his medication either wore off or he stopped the meditations, whatever it was. Yeah. He is, uh. He, he's back to being the old asylum self, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I, but saw I, I, I look forward. I look forward to the upcoming events. And yeah. I look forward to upcoming guys. You know, see what uh, can't wait to see what JJ and the KCW roster is going to throw my way. Because, like I said, I'm I'm Mister Wrestling. I, know. I am. I'm I'm what's going on today. Like everybody can say, there's a gimmick out there, or there's a hatter out there, or there's a red pick or whatever. Yeah. They can say what they want. They can put Frank over all they want. But there's a clown there. there there's down, a clown there. You know? <laughs> right. When it all comes down to it, Mr. Wrestling is the best thing they got. And, and they know it. You know, because you're holding right now, and you're, you know, you're holding the prize possession right now. You know, pride and glory. Just think about it. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm one half the tag team champions. Not long, not too long ago, we were doing a podcast, and I was a U.S. champion. Yes, you were. Yeah, that's right. But the only belt that I have left to get in KZW is that World Heavyweight Championship, and I am going to get it. Mm -hmm. I will get my shot. Yes, because uh, you know, I know we know we know that the Chris Rose has had it for so long, and you know, and uh, and no way to Crutch just took, a couple of people took it. Crutch this that, or, you know, it's been like flip this way that way every way, but you know, big right. Frank, big big Frank has it now, but we'll see. See what the uh, you know, like you said, you want to you want to call him you want to call him out, and you don't you want the challenge. You're ready for it. Oh, I'm laying challenges down all day, every day. I know you are. I mean, this is a 24/7 gig for me. I mean, yeah. I'm just I'm not just Mr. Wrestling on the weekends. I'm Mr. Wrestling every day of the week. Yeah. Yes. Any time, any place, anywhere, any promotion does not matter who or what it is. If they want. If they want it, all they got to do is sign the dotted line and make sure that my money's right, and I'll be there. Absolutely. Sign a paycheck. Yep. Got to get that. My home promotion is KZW, born and bred. That's I know. I, I know, and I'm so proud of you. For you know, that's where I, I have... cut my teeth. That's where I made my best reputation. Yeah. So, I mean, I have to say, first and foremost, you know, KZW is where I'm going to be. Yeah. Till you die. But, you know. But, yeah. <laughs> Till you die. Well, we won't say that shit. No. <laughs> No, but no, because, uh, you know, because like you said, man, you know, we just, time is changing, and time is now, you know? And oh, God, yeah, I mean, wrestling, wrestling's on a boom again. It I is. Mean, it is on a boom again. It is, it is, like we were saying, AEW's on a storm right now, uh, you know, uh, G1 Wrestling, that's killing it now, you know? Shit. Oh, oh God, yeah. I mean, look at what's going I mean, on. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have to, uh... Yeah. I'm going to have to relax a, a minute here, I guess, because now I'm starting to get worked up just thinking about the show this coming Thursday and Saturday. Cause I know. I know. I know. I'm, I'm, ready. Ready. I'm ready for it. Like, I've been ready. I've got a 40-hour work week just itching to knock somebody's head off. I, I wish, wish I was there, there every single day. day. You imagine, imagine if I was there with you? Oh, man. I would love it. Dude, if you, if you guys would come down and do, like, a live podcast session, at one of the shows. Oh, like, I don't have much shit that would draw. I don't, I don't have, have to bring anything, anything just myself. myself. <laughs> they got yeah, all the I, mean, I, I know. I know. We got, 
I mean, we got people listening in right now, and I know. You know how it is when I get on here. Anytime oh I'm shit! Here, they, they, you know what? They they, they got us. They got to listen to the man. You know, Mr. Wrestling, wrestling and enjoy it because you know what? Time is everything. Like we said, time is time is now, and it, you know what? It's it's, it's the, the Jeremy, Jeremy Rage Hour. hour. You, you know, let's say it. Let's steal it. Like let's. It's not it's not Leo Rush Hour. It's not Leo Rush Hour. Yeah, yeah, man. So you got a lot coming up. I'm so glad. Like everything's your, your, you know, good things are happening in KZW with you. And I'm, you know, timing. Like you said, it's, it's my time. I want it, and I'm thirsty. Oh yeah, I mean, I, it's past my time. I mean, I mean, honestly speaking, if you ask me, I'm a second generation wrestler. I've been around for 16, almost 17 years. Mm-hmm. I've not had one crack at that title in 12 years. Mm-hmm. 12 years that I've worked off and on for that company, yeah. I've not had one title shot. No, no. no you probably, 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 probably look at yourself. I think it's about high time that people start, you know, speaking up. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, 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 every chance I get, I take, you know, and pop you shots to. at them. And got got him, got him. That's, that's the part of the... the I, mean, I, I saw, saw you out there, there at that lumberjack. I, I saw, saw you popping some people in that crowd, that title belt, and, you know... Oh God, yeah. Yeah. You know, you popped up a day in the life there, brother. <laughs> it is. You were wrong. I stepped through that curtain. It's on. It is. It's, it's on, on like Donkey Kong. Kong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, I, I, I mean, yeah. some people hate me. Some people, you know, love me. Mm-hmm. Some people like me. Some dislike me. Yeah. But I mean, they dislike me because I'm me. That's what pisses them off the most is because I don't, I don't cater to anybody. Like I do my own thing. How, how many, many people, people actually? How, can, can I ask? ask how, how many, many people, people really like like, like cheer for you? Like in that crowd? crowd. Like, like, like you know, know what I mean? mean? Like, like what oh you God! Say? Like I, there, brother, so, every week it seems like there's more people that roots for me. Yeah. And they've got you know Mr. Wrestling shirts and signs yes. and stuff, which is great. You know, that's I know. cool. Yeah. You have to. And hopefully it shows the company uh-huh. and exactly, you know, what's, you know, what, what people want. They and do. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from the champion, Frank Vano, because I mean, he's over like Rover. He is. Biscuits I mean, great every, every day. day. Come on. And they dance with him and stuff. I mean, he is over like Rover. But, he is. I mean, you know, if you want, you know, you want something to draw by last year, Case Fury, it was, you know, everybody anticipated <laughs> You know, Jeremy Rage and Johnny Bat. Yeah. And I didn't get to see that match because right. I had a U.S. title defense that match. Yeah. yeah. I would have gladly worked a second match just to give them that match between myself oh, and Johnny Oh, bloody, Bates. bloody Jeremy Rage inside the steel cage. Ooh, it's coming. coming. It's, it's coming, coming now. now. Oh, at Cage Fury, I'd say in September at Cage Fury, it's, it's going to be a very, very hard day at the office for whoever they put in that cage because I'm undefeated in a cage. Yeah, and, and if, if you, you had, had to call it, it you know, oh God, if, if you had, had to call, call it, it if, if you had to call it, say, hey, hey, Mr. JJ, guess, guess what, what I'm doing? doing? I'm going to step it up a notch. Dog collar or something. Come on. Let's do it. Yeah. Put it inside the cage. It's, you know, just got to amp up the, if they always had the TLC, this, that, come on, go back to the old roots, you know? Well, I mean, that's that's how wrestling, like, I feel like wrestling yes. should be. Like, yes. I mean, it stepped, it stepped a leaps and bounds yeah. past old school wrestling. And, I mean, but, I understand that but but now, the newer generation, you, they you, don't they, get it. You know what they use now in the new generation? It's like doors. House, yeah. house doors instead of a table. Like, it's, like, I guess it's cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, like... Yeah. You got these newer generations now that wants to like go out there and do twenty minutes of spots or flippy flippies or or what yes. the hell ever. Sure, you can do that. Yeah, I mean you can do twenty minutes of whatever and they'll clap for you, mm-hmm. but it ain't telling stories. No, you stories know? is what's, what what brings the rest of the you know fans in and. You know, you guys to get the go. You know, it's, it's what, what you guys, guys do. do. You know, to, to really tell, tell a story. Yeah. You know. I mean, people, people want to, they want to suspend their disbelief. They want you to make them part of the show. They want you to pull them in to what you're doing. And if you're not doing that, then you're not doing your job. No, 
No. Yeah. You, know, you might as well just walk out that curtain and go somewhere else. You know? but yeah, I mean, if you ever get to the point in this business, I've said it a thousand times, hell, we just said it in training this past Saturday. If you get to the part in the business where yeah. you think that you can't learn anymore or you are you know you know it all, mm-hmm. just hang your bags up on the door on your way out because, like, yeah. there's guys it. like veterans like me, like yeah. Chief Tomahawk, like Johnny Bad. These are the guys that, like, they're still learning oh, to yeah. this day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and the the younger guys, they they all I already know, brother, or they'll hit you with all right. You know, this is how it's going to be, and no, by God, it's not. Cause it's I'm like it's like, like I know because, because, because the only thing about it is the weekends going, going out with buddies, buddies, you know, know and having a couple. Oh of yeah, them. they either want to be weekend warriors and show out in front of their girlfriends. Yeah. Or they're going to be like the outlaw Sally Larkin and all they want to do is smoochy, smooch, kissy, whiskey on their little girlfriend before they do a match and after a match. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, it's... I can't stand it. You know what, I can't, can't stand, stand, stand that wrestling, wrestling matches. matches. Like, like really, it's, it's, that's, that's a point, point that, 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 come on, you're, you're, you're wrestling, wrestling, come on. Come on, we don't well, yeah, I mean, if you're wrestling, I mean, if your family's there, great. Yeah. But you don't have to show everybody that you're yeah. family. I mean, we've done that in the past. How many times Macho Man and, you know, the greats and everybody did that. Like, was... Oh, God, yeah. Back in the day, yes. and this is no shit, like back in the day when I was first training and stuff, yeah. we weren't allowed to bring our wives or girlfriends or families to the show. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, most of the time, they probably wouldn't even, even into what you were doing. And if they're going to sit there on their cell phone or whatever and text or talk or whatever the hell they do nowadays, yeah. then why is anybody else going to care what's going on? Well, you, you know, know what, you notice, notice that shows that people are always on their phones, phones. you never notice that, that. I, I try, try to keep, I try to look the action, action. I, I can't, can't stand it, it. I can't. Like, like you get a fan that sits next, next to you, you know, no, we do like a normal like show or something, any other, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, like, the way I look at it, if you pay your hard-earned money and buy a ticket to see me or anybody in KCW, we're going to give you your money's worth. Yeah. But it's up to you to be able to enjoy the show. If you're going to sit there on your phone the whole damn time, I mean, if you're recording the show, yeah. or recording a match that you like or whatever, that's that's fine. Yeah, yeah. But, but just, if you're just on your phone and you're not really paying attention to what's going on, then you're missing a whole lot. You are. Like, you are. KZW is the best company in the state going right now. I'd put it up against anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but, but yeah, technology, you know, whatever. whatever. It's just the technology is. has ruined the generation. I know. If the internet has destroyed uh, some of the best parts of wrestling, because mm-hmm. you have these, like I said again, you have these weekend warriors and these guys who wants to, first thing they want to do is get on there and post about shit. Which, you know, I've been guilty of making posts myself. But you have to. It's just it's split the ice. Split the ice. Mine, I'm, I mostly use the internet as a platform to, like, do my shoot promos and stuff. Because if you notice, like, I don't cut a regular freaking wrestling promo. I cut a straight laced shoot promo because yep. that's 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 just me. Just, just like, like you did you tonight. Like just, like, just, just like tonight, you did for me. You know, that was great. Yeah, I mean, if you don't like what I got to say, then change the freaking dial. You know, turn the page. Freaking hit the delete button. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But just because one person doesn't like it doesn't mean that there's going to be a hundred others that you know that. Don't particularly care for it because they might be a hundred more that love it. No, and then they, they go, go back, back to the, their buddies at home and oh yeah, we we at the show this weekend. He he said this to that dude. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> people, people claim that AZW and other companies that I've been involved with, like yeah. they claim that they have heat or they claim that they're yeah. the best. Yeah. The heel, baby face. I know, know how, how it is. We know, we know how it is, Jeremy. We know how it is in the business. It's it's, it's mm-hmm. You know, I mean, we're, we're smart, smart people. people. We can own a wrestling company if we want and shit, you know? Well, well I mean, uh, they, they can claim that they've got the most hate or whatever, but let me tell you something. Yeah. When I step my eyes through that curtain, yeah. I don't see anybody else getting spit on. I don't see anybody else getting shit thrown at them. Mm-hmm. That's me. I'm the man out there taking all the heat, taking all the pop shots and whatever they want to throw. Yeah, because, because you're the rebel. I love it. Because you're the rebel. rebel. You're the rebel without, without a cause, like, like they always say. Right? The rebel without, without a cause. So what? By God, if that's the way we're going to go, well, it's you damn right. Yeah. I am the friggin' yeah. Hank Williams of friggin' it wrestling. I, you know, I, <laughs> <laughs> Hank Williams, there you go. 
That's great. What I am is one bad son of a bitch, and I have 220 pounds of pissed off problem that they really don't want. And when you throw my partner, B.W. Anderson, in the mix, and you put the Saints together, mm -hmm. especially for the tag straps, like, fuck, it's, it's over. You know, it's already in the bag before he starts. You got to make a call. You, you got to tell him to get, get, him, get him, him to come on this podcast. podcast. I'd, I'd like, like to have, have him. him. Spill his beans. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. we need to schedule like a team Attack podcast team. here. Definitely. We, we can do that. We'll, we'll set, set that up. up. Me and you. We'll, 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 we'll schedule, schedule that. that. Hell yeah, we need to get that scheduled because, like, I mean, B.W. Anderson, he's, he's one of the mm -hmm. more fine, refined wrestlers mm -hmm. out there, and he doesn't get enough credit for what he's capable of doing. Yeah. Oh, because like the yeah. man is a he's a very strong person and he is a great technician. Yeah. But also, also man, some, some of those girls, girls are dominating the scene. My God. God. Look, Look at that. Oh God, yes. Oof. I, I saw, saw some beautiful. Uh, I saw Fairfax. She's oh. a KDW women's champion. I know. I know. She just laid Michelle Myers out yes. this past weekend in, in Shawville. You, you had, had lights, lights go out. out. You, you had, had lights, lights go out. out. Oh my God, yeah. Like, it was a surprise to me. Yeah. Isn't that surprising? What's her name? Safara? Safara? I uh, know. Mm. Uh, mm. Hey, Jeremy, Jeremy, we were like, that's, that's what's, what's up, up in the business. business. Yes. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Like, oh. And she's hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean I, I'm not even going to lie. I, mean, I, I know. she got a man or whatever, but, yeah. I mean, I, I, Mr. Rashman can give out a compliment to Safara. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. She, she's strong. She's yeah. blonde. She's tall. I mean, she's got it. Yeah. Uh, big, now we big shout out, what, you know what, she you know what, big shout out to her because she's making, you know, she's going to be sticking around, I think, for quite a while, you know, to KZW and, I, I, you know, I think she'd be good to, that's what you need, people like that, with attitudes, she has the attitude there, you know. Right, she has that, she mm -hmm. has that it factor, she has that attitude, she has the drive, like, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that she's going places in this business. Like, I look forward to it. Yeah, yeah. Forward, and more forward to you, too, also. Come on. More oh, forward. Oh, yeah. I'm, dude, that goes without saying. I mean, so what, so what it's, it's, it's me, brother. It's so, me. Are, so what are you going to do? Take it. I, I dare you. I challenge you. You know what? I'll put my money on it. You take, take it to the rise. <laughs> <laughs> By God, hey. Take it up. Wrestling, I guarantee you that money is coming home with us because I don't fight to lose. <laughs> take it to the Ferris wheel, or the... <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I'll take my earnings and go ride the Ferris wheel or some shit like that. I'll enjoy my time at the fairgrounds. Yeah, see, some caramel popcorn and a candy apple. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, I, I'm a professional. I gotta watch what I eat, so I can't be eating all that junk. But all I right, funnel cake. cake. How's that? We move off the funnel cake. Damn, funnel cake, brother. That's like. That's like, pounds of sugar. I know, it's a rush. That's the best thing in a fair, man. That's like the best carnival treat, and, you know. You got to have Oh, yeah. It. The, that Clinton County Fair, it's going to be it's gonna be packed. Like, yeah. I had kind of mediocre expectations for the first one mm -hmm. in McQuarrie County. Mm -hmm. But when I got there and I actually, you know, the show was going and I mm -hmm. saw what was going on, like, there were a lot of freaking people there. Yeah. Like, they was a sea of humanity. Yeah. But, and I don't expect it to be anything, you know, different than that in Clinton County. The Clinton County Fair, I expect it to be packed. Yeah, I, I saw, saw the one show, uh, with the mini golf was a little bit of a small crowd, but you know what, that's okay. You had a great time. You guys had a good time. Oh, God, yeah. Now, my mindset on stuff like that, like, yeah. whether there's 20 people or there's 20,000, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to give them their money's worth because they still pay the you know, price of admission. But, come in but that's a fair, you got the fair coming to town, so like that's like perfect for the people to come in and just go watch wrestling. You know, that's how that's what wrestling. You know, fair wrestling is what 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 you know. It's still it's still popular. You know, it really is. Oh yeah. No matter where you go, you know. I mean, our local our local show has you know our local county fair should be coming up. Yeah, actually, yeah. Did it pass yet? No. They should be doing that pretty soon. Bring some wrestling or. Somebody comes to town, or you know, right? You know, it's always great. Remember what he did? Let me ask you a question. What the hell was Everett Leesdale? He didn't come in on us tonight, yeah. Yeah, what's, what's going, going on? on? I have no clue. I don't know. He's booking some people. He's doing this. He's doing that. He's like the Vince McMahon of a podcasting now. I don't know. <laughs>
Oh, shit, he better take that rub, because that was a good one. That was a good one. No, that was a rib. But, yeah, man, I mean, I look forward to everything upcoming, because, I mean, KZW's not even, like, this year ain't even got started yet, and already we've had some big changes and some big things happening. I know, I know, I know. And there's still a whole lot more to come down the road. There is, there is, but you got to drag Mr. Deathmatch Russell. Got it, got it. Oh, yeah, I got to drag him out of whatever rock he's hiding in under and get his ass down here to Kentucky. I know, I know, I know. And what's going on every, like, every time I see that guy, he has got V. Chris Rose on that podcast. I like, don't, don't know. know. Is he just a mark for Chris Rose or something? I mean, I don't no disrespect to one of them, but Lord God. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going I'm to have to hush. I start shooting on every lady. I'll get a phone call here in a couple of hours. Yes. Hey, what, what are you, you talking about? about? Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, Everett? Everett uh, you hear hearing this right, right now, now live, Everett? Everett. You know? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Hey, it's, when it's live, brother, and it's Mr. Wrestling, it's, it's untailing what's going on. I'm not even on Twitch, Twitch right? right? Hell with that shit. I don't care for that. Twitch, I can do that in no time. I'm still setting up my technology still. <laughs> Radio is where, this is where it's at. Facebook Live, we could do it, you know? It's great. We, we gotta, gotta do, do one of those one of these. We'll set, set that, that up soon. Too. You're yeah. more, you know. hey, we, we can set that up anytime you want to, like I said, because I, I, I don't, am. you know, I got kind of noticed a little more at the beginning of 2018 just from doing all those Facebook Live things. You know what? what? You know what, you know what I'm thinking? thinking? Hmm. Fairground. Hmm. hmm. You, you might have hold, hold your phone. phone. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Intermission. I mean, I live there. Intermission. Intermission. Hmm. Hey, well, we might just do it, Russell. I mean, all right. If you're available around six thirty, seven ish, seven thirty, maybe I'll go live on Facebook. I don't care one bit, brother. All right, we'll do it. Sounds, Sounds good, good to me. me. You, you heard it here, yeah. We'll yeah. Well, let's see what these people's got to say, Russell. I know they're dying, and the ones that's listening, if they got any questions, yeah, yeah. answer them. I know. Yeah, I'll answer them. Hit us up. Hit don't us matter up. how. Broad, how wide, how negative, or how positive it is, it will get answered. It will. So, like, like I said, I don't have any shows this weekend. I'm, thinking I'm, thinking a, I'm just kind of saving the money a little bit. <laughs> you know? My pocket's full. Well, you saw where I was this past couple months. months. I was at, like, like, a busy, busy weekend, weekend, man. I was, Hell, yeah. There for, like, I, I was, was straight week, you was oh, on your game. I was in Atlantic City, New Jersey, you know, at the casino, and... You know, you know, he, he actually, actually honored, honored Madman Pondo, Pondo in the Hall of Fame. That was really awesome to get him inducted. It was really awesome. The Mad Game. You know, a legend. Hell yeah, man. I've worked with Pondo before. He's, he's tough. Dude. And not only, not only did I get to meet him, but I got to meet the one and only, the Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Because I always wanted to meet him. I ran into Jimmy a few times. He's good people. I like him. He really him. is. He was really telling me some stuff about JJ. It was great. And oh, that, God, yeah, they're... Them two is like two peas in a pod, and hey, Jim, you know, God bless Jimmy Hart, because he's a big advocate for KZW, like, people just don't, I don't know, it's like, they don't understand or they don't realize what's going on right now, but like, KZW is taking the frig off, like, and, then, and it was really awesome, up his ass. it also was really cool to meet Kenta from Ring of Honor, my God, I, I was, oh, God, yeah, because I was talking about a match with him back in, with, uh, geez, it was Brian Danielson, and I was actually in attendance 2009, I believe. I was up in New Yeah, York. 2008, 2009, yeah. I was in New York City for an anniversary show, and my God, it was great to see I'll it. never forget when I got to work with Daniel Bryan the night that I, that was the first time I ever got to meet Brad Hart in my life. We could went to could you imagine? Wood Park. Could you imagine? Chicago, Illinois, at yeah. Ring of Honor. Yeah. And we got to work a dark match with him. And the guy who runs is Moose now. Yes, that guy. I see that. Yeah. I mean, we tore that friggin' place up, and then I got to meet Bret Hart. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was like mm-hmm. you could have killed me right there with my wrestling career, and I'd have been happy. Yeah. I mean, look at it now, but you got the future still wrestling, man. His, his nephew, the nephew, uh, the nephew Teddy Hart, and. And Brian, uh, not, uh, well, Brian Philman Jr., of course. Yeah, is, Brian Philman Jr., Teddy Hart, and then you've got Davey Boy Smith Jr., yes. all the new Hart Foundation. Yes. Fuck, dude, that's, 
Oh my God. They, they, uh, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they'd be the next to be signed <laughs> eventually. Dude, I don't know why they nobody signed Teddy. MLW. I, I That's know it. That he's had I mean, like anger issues, attitude problems, etc. But I mean, yeah. who doesn't? Who, I mean, does. if you're in the wrestling business, you're crazy anyway. Go watch his old shoot interviews. You'll be pissing your pants. You know? Come on. He's yeah. Smokes, he's smokes, I mean, he's smokes smokes a joint the joint. The guy's one of the most coolest people I've ever met. Like he's he's cool to sit and talk to. Oh, like, he I mean, still... yeah, he has his own thing or whatever. But oh, he blazes he it up with his cat. It's funny. Oh God. <laughs> It's I, I, yeah, I heard something about he was a cat trainer. Yeah, he does that now. He's, he's like, I didn't cats. know if that was a legit thing, like if that was a shoot or if that was just a gimmick. But yeah, she has you know, a apparently it's a hey, shoot. You know, you know what? what? He has actually has, has a page for his cat. <laughs> what? He's got a Facebook <laughs> account for his cat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, man, this, this is, is a great, great night, Jerry. I love it. i tell you what I'd love to get to do, though. What I'm really working on yeah. is, like, I want to go and work at least one more time yeah. for Dave Sapolsky up at Evolve. Like, yeah. I, I, you know, I've not worked for Evolve yet. Mm-hmm. I've worked for Dave before. Mm-hmm. But I would love to go to Evolve and work a show up there just, you know, just to say that I've done it. Because, I mean... My big thing in contention was I wanted to work every promotion in the state of Kentucky and Tennessee. Yeah. Now, Tennessee-wise, I've not got there yet, but so far in Kentucky, there's not a promotion that I haven't worked except for two. Mm-hmm. And, you know, those two are kind of like, you yeah. know, they're just not my cup of tea. Yeah, yeah I, I, can, I can tell that. I can tell you. I can yeah, tell they just, I mean, yeah. I'm not going to damage myself for free. Nope. I mean, I, hey, I mean, speaking of the damages, damages, you gotta pay dues. Hey, wait a minute. J- Jeremy, can, can I cut you off, you off here? Speaking of the damages, damages, what was that little cut on the back of your head? You had a picture up there on the internet. Oh, God. That was a picture from like 2007 or right. 2008. Yeah. I did a match in Tennessee, and it was. Let's see. I can't remember yeah. exactly. Yeah. But, I mean, I knew it was a chair right. that hit me in the back of the head. Yeah. Switch wide open. And yeah. I didn't even know that I was cut. Like, yeah. I had no idea until I saw all the blood. And I was like, well, who the hell's bleeding? And then I got to look, and it was me. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, I, I guess, guess I got to go, go get stitched up. up. Okay. Oh, God. I hate I hate needles. Like, yeah. Mr. Wrestling's fear is needles. <laughs> like, I hate needles. Right. I, I, I can't stand it. Yeah. And when they had to stick that needle in there to numb it so they could sew me up and yeah. stuff, like, whatever. I wish they would have just stapled my head together and just let me go. <laughs> Staple your head and have a couple, jack, uh, you know, big jack shots and that's it. Call it a night. Yeah, I mean, you know, I could have been happy with that, but no. Yeah. They had to stick it up. Yeah. You had to be the girl. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was a big old bitch at that point in time. I, tell you, I was on the cry. <laughs> Only reason I did is because the friggin' promoter was sitting there with me, and there was no way I was about to cry. No, no, no you, you don't, don't want to look like a, a yeah. You gotta suck it off. Yeah, I don't want to look like no sissy. No, but Jeremy, this is really awesome. Let's call it. Let's call it a night, my friend. This is great. Hey, brother, I was glad you called. Glad to be on the show. You got anything to say for this upcoming show this weekend for your competition or whatever? Do it. I have got let's say. It. We've got the fair show Thursday, and I have no idea what's in store or what's on the card for that. But in Williamsburg, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Saints versus Gunnar Grimm and mm-hmm. Pitbull Ebenezer. You know what? He was supposed to call. He was supposed to stop by my neighborhood this weekend. He was, he was doing a delivery. Who was? Gunnar. <laughs> he said he was, he was hitting Jersey this weekend. I guess he lied. Whatever. Yeah, well, I mean, but, you know, he's. Yeah. Those two guys, yeah. they're not even important enough to remember. I mean, they're yeah. they're young, they're yeah. green, they're rookies, yeah. and they're trying to get in there and hang with vets, and it's yeah. not going to happen. No. I mean, it's impossible. They're not going to pull it off. Yeah, he was supposed to come to town this week. Well, today's Tuesday, so how about the words? Yeah, today's Tuesday, and he's only got tomorrow to get his ass up there. Otherwise, yeah. Back home. But, what are you going to do? Anywho, Mr. Yeah. Russell. You have a good night, my friend. Like as always. You do the same. And wait a minute. You know what you gotta say to your 
Killing, killing it. it. Yeah, I'm killing it all day, every day, Russell. All day, every day, man. That's what Mr. Wrestling does. He kills it every day. Microphone, in the ring, hell in life in general. Yeah. But I want to say uh, it's always a great to have you on here. You know, we always we have done this a while. We said we're gonna do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we are. Here we are. Damn right, we did it. We did it. We're gonna do it again. And I appreciate you having me on there. And if you fuckers ain't listening, to Deathmatch Russell podcast. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck you're doing when you laugh because he's killing it on the radio and podcast city network. But but yeah. just yeah. also don't just remember, remember that Jeremy, Mr. Wrestling Jeremy, Rage is killing it in the ring. Oh damn yeah. Mr. Wrestling always kills in the ring. I've got cups that say so. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah, I've got merchandise, brother. Oh, I gotta hook you. I gotta send you some stuff. This weekend's gonna go out. I promise you. Hey, send send whatever you want. I'll send you some stuff back, brother. You know that, but we'll talk. This that's fans. You gotta get it merchandise. Listen to that. We're gonna plug our merch right now. Fans, go go to a show. Go to KZW. Pick up yourself some brand new merch from. I feel like I'm the swab. Tell them. You tell them. What do you got? What kind, kind of goodies we got? You merch table and you pick up some Mr. Wrestling Jeremy Rage merchandise or I'm coming to your front door and I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah. And, and also, also don't, don't forget, forget to use the, the promo code. code. <laughs> Your the power elbow. The promo code killing it, brothers. Yeah. Do the elbow thing when you do it. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Or, or, you know, know Death Match Russell, order your merch, you know, supplies, some of that stuff, trading cards, this and that. I need to get you with my guy on that. I want to talk to you about that. Hey. Uh, just private message me, brother, and we'll do it. I know. All right. Hey, thank you for calling, and I'll I'll call you back. How's that? All right, brother. Appreciate it. Okay, bye. Thank you for being on. Good night. Hey, fans, that was a really great conversation tonight. Uh, just want to thank my guest, uh, Mr. Wrestling Jeremy Rage from Kentucky Zone Wrestling. You know, there's a lot of shows coming up this week uh, in, in Kentucky Fairground Wrestling. They got a lot of wrestling this week, and the following week, and the following week. It just keeps on going. KZW all the way, baby. Thank you for listening. Have a good night, everyone. But stay tuned. It's Friday night. I will be having the new KZW heavyweight champion, Big Cousin Frank from KZW. So be listening to that, fans. Yeehaw! It's going to go down on the Death Natural Soul Podcast. Have a good night, everyone. Tune in. Wrestling fans, I want to mention Collar and Elbow. Collar and Elbow is founded on traditional values of professional wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product intended to connect with people on a, an emotional level. A symbolic relationship where one cannot flourish without the other. We strive to create a product that embodies our passion for professional wrestling expressed through street fashion. Visit CollarAndElbowBrand.com and use the promo code DeathMatchRussellPodcast and save 10% off when you make a purchase. Collar and Elbow, where wrestling passion meets street fashion you, you can find more deathmatch russell podcasts on the following social media deathmatchrussell.com follow on twitter at david nj32 and on facebook facebook.com slash dj dave nj32 find me on podcast city network at podcastcity.net facebook.com slash podcast city network hit the like button and share and on twitter at podcast city net you can hear death natural podcast on stitcher radio and on itunes